Right, good morning guys. So here we are, Tom and Stacey in the front. Happy birthday, Stacey! Thank you. Yeah, me and Lisa sat in the back of the car. Uh, we've just spotted Energylandia. Um, it's literally just around this corner, so just wanted to film while we're getting there. Obviously, we won't be getting Hyperion today. We, we know that. It, it's been testing for a couple of days. Uh, the park is just over there. Um, we'll probably, I don't know, <laughs> Tom was saying, ask the managers and see if we can get on, like, test it and stuff, but I'll probably, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see if we can be like human test dummies. <laughs> But no, uh, we'll, we'll get some footage of it testing. I can see one of the coasters now. There's how many Tom? Is there 12? 12 including Hyperion. Yeah. Oh, here's the Vacoma. There's a few Vacomas. You've got a Vacoma SLC just here with lap bars and VR. Uh, you've got Formula. Oh, look at that. Woo! Could be the best SLC we'll ever go on. Drop tower. Uh, a mouse. Kids, uh, 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 family, boomerang. Here's Hyperion. Excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, here it is. Parked up, and I'll see you when we get in the park. Right here we are. There's a front entrance, uh, Energy Land here. I peer in just here. I can't get over the scale of that thing. It's massive. Just to let you know, it might be a busy day for us. There's a lot of skilled kids about, uh, but we sort of know that. It's the same back home, Alton Towers and Thorpe. We've all been busy the past few weeks with school trips. We've all got the hats on and stuff like that. We've already got our tickets. Really excited. 12 coasters. I'll get you a bit more information when I get in there. Just been taking some pictures, posting stuff to Facebook and that. We're all excited for uh, for Energylandia. I know Tom is. Yeah. <laughs> it's Stacey's birthday again. Ooh, happy birthday. So we've already got the tickets sorted, haven't we, Tom? Yeah. Yeah. Already got the tickets. Oh my, it's going, it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. Uh, we're also doing Legendia, uh, which isn't far away either, and Zetaland. It's like a small park that's located just up the road as well. So uh, I hope I can get POVs on the rides. I have seen pictures of people with chest harnesses. I did email both parks last week and I've heard nothing back, so I'll see what I'll see what the crack is with POVs and filming and stuff. Amazing place. Hey, hey never been. Excellent, there you go, locals. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the telly now. All right, let's get in. Lovely in here. Right, so we're in. We already got the tickets. There's a few mascots and stuff around here. Um, <laughs> I am trying to ask someone if I can film on the rides, but no one speaks English at all. And I know no Polish. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I've got my chest harness with me. I'll just stick it on and I'll just hope for the best. And I might get you some POVs. But um, it's very colourful, it's very happy, it's very busy. Um, we want something to eat first before we actually get on any rides. There you go, hello. Hi, hey, hi, hi. Hi, hello. hello. <laughs> yeah, Energylandia. I'm really excited. First UK YouTuber to actually come and uh, film the park, so yeah, and it's not an old park either. It only opened, I think it was 2012, uh, if I'm mistaken. Uh, I will check, but they've got like all the kids' entertainment out and stuff. There's a water park as well, so yeah, we're all quite starstruck at the minute. It's it's amazing. Uh, the park is open till eight o'clock tonight as well, uh, so we've got plenty of riding. I just don't know what to do. There's a map down there and yeah, there's loads of rides, we'll get on loads of coasters, whatever, just follow us for the day. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, so before we go on any rides, we just want to get a coffee or something, something to eat first. And Tom's just reminded me, what, what t when did this park open? 2014. 2014, I got it wrong again. 2014. It's 2014, yes. And there is 11 operating coasters, uh, 12 with uh, Hyperion, and they've actually got two ready uh, to open in a couple of years. One of them, an RMC, according to the Roller coaster database, so if there's any construction around the park, we'll, we'll check it out. So, yeah, we'll get something to eat first and a drink. Right, so we're waiting for our coffees. I'll just show I'll just show you the map. Obviously, it doesn't look as big as it does on the camera. Well, there's my hand anyway. It's it's huge, it really is. There's a the car park, uh, entrance, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's massive. There's a hotel. Uh, Hyperion's all up here, you've got Formula, um, I can't remember the name of the rides but there's a few log flumes, there's a few water rides, there's the kids coasters dotted around, it's huge, they've got shows on, they've got all sorts of stuff, uh, Hyperion, got if you won't get on it, speed water coasters new, yeah there's, there's tons of stuff, the water park, all the different food options, all the shows, there's loads of stuff. Yeah, really excited. So I've got my coffee, here we go. Right, so first impressions of the park, it looks absolutely gorgeous. There's rock work everywhere, the flooring's really nice, planting's really nice. There's a water ride sponsored by Toffee Fee that I really like. This coffee's not too bad, there wasn't really much in it if I'm honest. It's about 30. Uh, 30, 30 slotties for um, two coffees and a panini. Stuff over here, if you haven't seen the previous vlog, we was in Krakow. Stuff here is really cheap. I know it's only a can of Monster, but you know I like my can of Monsters. I got one last night and it was about 80p. So yeah, cheap. There's uh, big groups of kids everywhere. Um, yeah, it's a very nice looking park. Cross between sort of Toverland and I don't know, Toverland, Plopsland, Depand and, and uh, Poulton's Park really, but on a bigger scale. You've got the Vicoma um, family boomerang just up there, so it's a bit like Accelerator and Velociraptor. You've also got a suspended family boomerang, uh, family, yeah, yeah, family Vicoma, suspended, uh, a bit like uh, Flight the Pterosaur. Uh, oh, there's loads of stuff here. Just yeah, if I if I get confused or whatever, just comment on the um, uh, down below and tell me if you know if I'm wrong or right. I'm just a bit overwhelmed with everything at the moment. It's a brand new park, brand new credits. We're going to get about 15 credits for this whole trip. The Coma SLC at the back. There's a booster just there, so Stacy will get on there. I did ask a girl in the coffee shop if I can do POVs. She sort of said yes, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's the sort of place where they'll be bothered about it. Uh, knock off Nemo ride. Little kids, um, a kiddie uh, log flume. No. Uh, do you want a mm hmm. Yeah. It's all right. Should have got a Starbucks or something on the way. We didn't see anything. We didn't see anything. Oh my God! Yeah, there's the new water ride called Speed. A vert yeah, a vertical up, and, uh, and then all the way down that track into a big splash. There it goes. Probably soaking. I think it's got over the shoulder restraints on it. Wow. I think that's an Intamin as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's Intamin. So you've got a lot of Intamins and Vacomas here. There's uh, there's no B&Ms or nothing like that. Oh, 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 3D cinema. Pyramid, pyramid cinema. Zero, zero wait time. Zero wait time, 3D cinema. 70. 70? See, I'm getting wrong already. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> 70. Zero wait time. Yeah, yeah, go on. It's just there. 
It is walk on, she's right. We'll go and do four wheeler first. Oh my god. Oh no, thank you. We'll be going on that. It's a nice looking shop here. Uh, I just apologise for any wind noise or anything on the camera. It is quite windy today. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> Stacy going on that one. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Shops. Yeah, the park did open at 10. Uh, it's, it's about 20 past 10 now. We got here at 10 o'clock. Huge park. They got, like I said earlier, they've got two more coasters planned. They've got an RMC planned. I don't really know where we're walking. I think it's over, it's over there anyway. Formula. Oh, look at that. Is that a dark ride? Yeah, monster attack dart ride. Yeah, for a park that's only been open four years, it's unbelievable. Oh, here's your rides, Anaconda. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Mayan roller coaster, speed, uh, water coaster. Yeah, yeah. You'll see it. I'll get the chest harness on for the coasters. All the staff are on these little Segway thingies. What a nice park. Some of the theming's a bit, uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit dodge, but uh, yeah, you come to expect that, don't you? The big volcano thingy there. Oh, that's a big dragon. Nice little uh, stream. And just to watch as well, if you are subscribed to Theme Park Worldwide, um, Sean might be coming out here soon as well. So stay tuned for that one. I think we're going to Legendia tomorrow. Oh, is the uh, Vacoma suspended family coaster? Woo! Sounds really smooth. That slightly different layout to the other ones we've done. There's Formula. The uh, Vacoma. Walk on. Yeah, lazy times for everything. Nothing. The 20, 20 minutes, 20 space boosters on 20 minutes. That's the highest queue time. The space booster. Everything else is pretty much walk on. Well, uh, school kids will be gone by about three. Months. Yeah, they will. School kids won't be here till all day. What time does he say it open? Eight till eight o'clock. It's open till eight. Yeah. It's open till eight. Right, so we're going over to do. Oh, it's windy. Oh wow! First ever. Launch for coma. Oh my god, I'm excited for this. Right, formula. I get the information up. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a coat. There's a caterpillar here as well. Right, right, here we go, here we go. And there is 4G signal here as well. Energy land here. Sorry, just bear with me a second. I should know all this before I come. No, I was clicking on the wrong one. Formula. There we go. Right, it's a 2016 Space Warp, and I think there's only two of these in the world. Look at it, it's amazing. Uh, height 81 foot, speed 49 mile an hour, three inversions, 3.8 G force, it's got an LSM launch, a sidewinder, two cork screws, and it's on zero minutes. Right, here we go. First coaster of the trip. Got your both speakers down there as well. It's a really good soundtrack to it. And it's not I'm a score, unfortunately. I think we're gonna have a very good long day. Well, like I said to the guys, the skill trips here, they won't be coming on these extreme rides. I just hope I can do POVs. Oh. Oh, here it goes. Oh, wow. First ever Vacoma launch. And it's got lap bar with a vest. Oh, wow. Right, here we go. Right, here we go. 
Yeah, GoPros are allowed here. So anyone who's watching coming here, don't be worried about it. Here's the launch, lap bar with the vest. Yeah, so smooth. Oh my god, that was awesome, was that? Really smooth, quite comfortable chairs. It's a bit um, tight on my knees at the front here though. And like I said, GoPros are allowed. Well, there you go, first uh, Polish roller coaster. Well, not Polish because it's for coma. But um, yeah, that was amazing. What did you think to that, Tom? Yeah, it's really good. Isn't it? Yeah. So smooth. Very smooth. Um, good, it was a good launch. Yeah, brilliant launch. Yeah, it's a little bit short, but... It's and the fun ride photos just there as well. Yeah. My only niggle was, yeah, a bit short. What did you think, Stacey? I enjoyed it. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. I was expecting it to be quite buff. It was really smooth. Yeah, super but smooth. A bit sharp, but it was good. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> into that, out of this launch here, straight into an inversion, uh, and then back round here, uh, another for, uh, airtime, couple airtime hills on it. it was great, really, really it's good. It's and it's walk on, yeah. Look how quiet it is. Reminds me of being in Ferrari land. I'll try and get you some off ride footage as well. But yeah, like I said, GoPros are allowed as long as you've got your chest harness on you. I don't think they really bother here. Yeah, three put on this is amazing. Here we go again. A bit more leg room this time. Woo! Oh, wow. Woo! Airtime! Oh, corkscrew. Woo! Oh, it's intense on the back. Another corkscrew. Woo! Oh. oh, it's beautiful. Drake and Manor could do with something like this. There we go, it's finished. Very short layout, great air times, really smooth, very forceful on the back. Yeah, three putts are amazing. It's like I said, it's a dark bar, but it's got like a, the vest on it. Amazing. Like I said, there's not many of these in the in the uh, in the world. Oh, I'm just about to show you the uh, world's most pointless turnstile. There we go, there's your turnstile. Yeah, <laughs> what is the point in that? I've just got to say, what an amazing coaster. Uh, it's so smooth, the back is amazing. I actually think the back's slightly better than the front. You get the views on the front, but there's a lot of force on the back. And because the uh, launch isn't too long, you get loads of hang time on that inversion there. You get the air time just there. Uh, caught into a corkscrew, quite intense going through that corner over there, bank curve, another in oh, it's amazing, amazing. Right, let's go find something else. Right, I'm gonna give a flat ride a go. Aztec swing, it's a uh, I think it's an intermin, I'm not sure. Uh, it's one of them, like, Ma like Maelstrom, uh, obviously not as big as Loki, but uh. Stacy likes her uh, flat rides, it's pretty much walk on. Oh, nice water ride. We're going on the Mayan roller coaster in a bit, it's got VR for this year. It does say as well, I have noticed, it does actually say in the um, in the key lines, no GoPros. Oh. Right, we go, Aztec swing. Right. I just want to point something out, like I did show you in the queue line, it does say no GoPros. Although, I've just walked on it, I've got my GoPro on, I did ask and he's like, yeah. So, I don't know what the crack is with that. I had to take my sunglasses off though. Stacey's flip flops are down there. Don't be along, 
motorcycle. Oh, we go. Spinning as well. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. This is probably the only spinning ride I'll do today. Oh my god. Oh. 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 That's it, that's it. It's enough. Oh. Oh. Right, I just thought I'd point out a couple of things here as well. Um, one, we're actually walking right underneath the lift hill uh, via the queue line. These queue lines are huge. Um, it's the Mayan coaster. It does say on the roller coaster database it, it, it's VR, but it's not, which is really odd. It says 2015 Vicoma SLC. Uh, so yeah, they, they said it was got to be VR, but it looks like they never added it on to the actual ride. So here he goes. With lap bars on it as well, just like uh, Flight of the Pterosaur. So the first ever Vicoma SLC with lap bars. Like I said, standard layout. So same as Infusion. Blackpool, uh, Condor at Wallaby Holland and all the rest of them that are out there. I still think um, Kumail is the best one we've done. No bonus helix on this one. Bit of theming to it, it's done up obviously like in some sort of Japanese garden or Chinese Japanese gardens. Also using my new stick as well, I've got a new handle, GoPro handle, um, so I can just clip it on and off the chest harness and onto the handle whenever I, I want to. Not too bad. Let's see if I can get a POV on this one. Right, there you go, as you can see, no VR and lap bars with the vest, new style uh, vest restraints. So it should be better. Uh, let's see what it's like. I'll let you know when we come off. We go it's not quite a lap bar because you've got the uh the new style vicoma vests on it as well uh again sorry if there's any wind noise the operations of this park are amazing we literally as soon as we sat down they sent it off beautiful views uh and one thing i did notice with gopros as long as it's not a selfie stick i think you're all right they haven't said anything so far so yeah gopros and chest harness are allowed here we go there's nothing to hold on to. <laughs> ah! oh! <laughs> oh, it's still a bit rough. Oh! Yeah, my eyes are streaming too. And there you go. Oh. Yeah. Nah. Typical SLC. Rough, rattly. Yeah. At least it wasn't much of a head basher because of the new restraints, but I'm not a fan of these. I've done too many of them now. 
I think it's a better one. It's better than the Infusion. I give it that. Right. I don't want to go into much detail with the uh, Vekoma SLC review, but uh, put it this way, I don't really want to go on one of them again. Um, out, out of the standard layout ones that we've done, that's probably the better one we've done purely because of the new restraints on it. Um, it was intense. It was still rough, a, a bit rattly. 2015. Um, yeah, it's better than Infusion. It's better than um, Condor. Uh, it's not as good as Kuta, Kamali. And yeah, I think these guys loved it, didn't you? You didn't really like it, did you? The SLC. No, I hated it. Yeah, Tom loved it. Top oh, coaster. I liked it. <laughs> Tom's new top coaster. No. No, it's the best SLC I've It is, yeah, I agree. You didn't bash it on. No, you don't know where I'd bash it on that no, one. No, I didn't think it was that rattly to be fair. No, it, no, I found it, yeah. You, you can tell. Right, next up is this uh, Viking coaster, I think it's yeah. called, yeah. Uh, SBF. Visa, uh, very similar to the one that we did at Creeley's, me and Lisa, and we quite enjoyed this one, it wasn't too bad. It did say just then a 20 minute wait, but according to seeing this, it's not. And I've seen loads of people with GoPros, oh no, it could be. It's got a bit of a queue with this one, because it's a family ride. I've seen loads of people with GoPros um, here at the park, so happy days. Nice day. Nice theming as well. Oh. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> the Viking coaster. SPF. Uh, second one of these I've ever done. I think it might be the first time for Tom and Stacey one of these. Oh, it's a bit rattly. Wow, the park looks massive. Looking around. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh my God! Ah. Oh, oh! Yeah, it's rougher than the SLC. Here we go, spin it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 oh yeah it's not very nice this Whoa. here we go backwards ah! <laughs> another little drop oh sharp brakes oh. Oh. yeah Awful. Not as a, not as good as the one at Creeley's. Right. So after all that spinning, I thought we'd go and get something, something to eat. So I've gone, gone with a hot dog. Uh, Lisa's got a hot dog there. Looks very nice. Uh, I've got like a spicy Polish sausage in mine. Tom's gone for the chicken kebab. Yeah, the kebab. And Stacey's got a kebab as well. Covered in the plenty of mayo on us. Yeah, garlic, garlic mayo. And I've just noticed this roller coaster hot dog. It's not picking that up there. Yeah. Roller coaster hot dog. Yeah, very nice. Sounds so that the uh, theme of this park is stunning. I mean, it's not very old, so you'd expect it to still be pretty nice. Um, the hot dogs we had weren't too bad. Um, yeah, I've just been in the shop, just got a, a bit of chocolate and a fridge magnet. We got the Vekoma family boomerang here. Oh god, with another amazing name. Boomerang! <laughs> here it here it comes. I think we're doing this and the uh, the rapids is up here as well. Yeah, uh, very similar. This will be the fourth one of these we've done. Not massive queues around the park today. It's like the school trips as well, is the uh, the rapids. 
looks like a Revatron. I think we're doing the boomerang by the looks of it. Yeah, we're doing the boomerang. We yeah, are having a nice day here. It is a shame that Hyperion's not open, but like I said earlier, um, we did book this trip last year. We are also doing some cultural things as well. We're going to Auschwitz. Uh, we obviously, we did the city centre of Krakow yesterday. So we are doing the things other than not just the parks as well. I mean, you've got to, haven't you, really? You come out to these countries and you, don't, you can't just do the theme parks. You've got to see other things as well. Well, this looks really good. It's a good theming on it as well. Reminds me a little bit like Rake at Fantasyland. Uh, looks like it could be the same sort of layout. I mean, they're all exactly the same anyway. Yeah, awesome. Theming. Yeah, they're talking about the bricks there. <laughs> Random bricks. Here we go. No messing at this park. We could probably do a better POV now. Actually, move around. Yeah, there's the uh, park. There's the main road. Nice views. Oh. Do a front row to go the, get the uh, view in there. Oh, these are intense backwards. Oh. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all feeling it a bit already. Just a quick review of the uh, family boomerang. It wasn't too bad, if I'm honest. Nice and smooth. The, I mean, these new Vicomas are pretty smooth, if I'm honest. They're, they're really good. They, you can't actually go wrong. If you're a new up and coming park, these are great. They're cheap to buy. Families love them. They're smooth, reliable, brilliant. It's just what you need. Uh, we're going on the rapids now, and all four of us have said that we're, uh, we're feeling a bit like. Yeah, feeling a bit white after a couple of spinny rides and a, yeah, you got to pace yourself. If you come to these parks, do some of the bigger rides and uh, and then uh, do some flat rides as well. But the park is lovely. I mean, it's really nice landscape floorings. Some of the buildings are really nice. It's well finished off. It's well presented. It's clean. Like round here, the planting and stuff's great as well. Uh, there's some shows. Over here, I'll show you some of the shows. Yeah, there's tons of shows. Yeah, I want to see the extreme show. We all like we like our cars and things like that, so they got them as well. Yeah, loads of shows on magic shows, pirate shows, kids shows. Yeah, brilliant. Loads loads of stuff here. Right, so here we go, we're going on Atlantis, one of the many water rides at this park. So this is the, uh, like the small rapids. I think there's a few, Tom's saying there's a couple of rapids at this park. There's two, there's two yeah, it looks like a decent little layout to it as well. It does look like a Revatron. There's also like your, uh, your little Mac water ride there. Uh, similar to Dora at Blackpool. 
So yeah, the reason why I say it's a Revatron is just the size of the boats really with the with the GoPro. GoPro. I've seen loads of people with action cameras here, not just GoPros, but just in general. And with the phones out as well, so I'm not sure you can film on that ride. You probably can. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like some really good theming to this one as well. So, quite a good park. It's probably one to watch out for in the future, definitely. Especially with getting a couple of additions and a, a few more coasters to the 11, technically 12, that they've already got at the moment. Like I said, they're getting an RMC as well. It's the sort of thing that they could really do with now as a, as a Woody. They've got all these Vekomas and cheapy sort of rides. You look at it there, it looks amazing. We've got this viewing area with the water guns, free as well, no charge for them. Water coaster, speed, another Vekoma family suspended coaster to do. Uh, another kids Vekoma over there to do. There's loads. Yeah, watch these steps. Ah, I'll see you on the ride. Oh, oh my god! Whoa, we're sinking! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! What was that? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not joking, there's about a foot of water at <laughs> the bottom of there. That's nice. It's nice and cold. It's nice and warm. Uh, we don't want to tell you what happened to Tom's shoes last oh, night doing God. the car park. Oh, full of oil. <laughs> it was disgusting. He walked around the front of the car and stepped in this puddle and it was like oil. And it wasn't a puddle. Was I don't know what it was. Full of oil. Yeah. Well, it's oil and like drainage. Oh, God. Yeah. Bags on ride. <laughs> oh, Stacey's feet are in the water. It's nice, lovely. She's wearing. They're in water. Like, Sorry, I'm like at the feet up here. Oh, oh my god. Wettest water ride ever. <laughs> Wetter than Valhalla. It's dead small. It's yeah, tiny. isn't it? It is tiny. All squished in. Oh, we won't get wet on this. <laughs> oh <laughs> god. <laughs> First drop out of the station. All our I feet are soaking wet. They're going to have to shut them on. It's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> We're sinking. Oh, I managed to get the uh, red paint off my hands anyway. <laughs> from last night, from that scare Mine's attraction. Up. These are waterproof. It's got a speaker thing that pushes into it. Yeah. Oh, it's just oh, no. Come on, yeah, at least it's a new strap <laughs> from China. Yeah. No, oh my god. Oh, with the water as well. <laughs> it's sinking. Wow, look at the middle bit. Now it's spinning. Yeah. Whee! Oh, yes, that is the water. Spinnier than the spinning mouse. <laughs> what? It's actually nice on my foot, on my foot. Oh, that's ridiculous, that water down there. I've got a train. Is that it? Yeah. Sandals. Wedges. That looks awesome, that, though. Well, the, the lake in the middle. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> yeah, there's the Tacoma boomerang there. Yeah, that's it. Do a front row next time. Okay. I mean, it's pretty odd, it's called just Tacoma boomerang, or boomerang, and it's got like bat it's themed. Like, yeah, theme, and there's a witch there. Yeah, there's a witch there, yeah. It's very nice. I can't believe Oh, that there's some more rapids. A nice rock work and stuff around. Yeah. Why didn't you have fish? <laughs> There's no fish. Well. You get your own pets and put them on the road. It's a guinea pig. It's guinea pig. Long distance. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> oh, I cut wet. Oh, oh, I missed oh, the camera. Oh, me going oh. like that. I went literally. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, this is like the ropiest rapids we've ever been on. <laughs> it's got no, like, 
Oh, it has got a drainage thing. Yeah, yeah it keeps coming through instead. <laughs> it's bubbling up through. It's nice, it's like a spa. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it for the rapids. It's over five minutes long. Right, well, I've got to say, on behalf of all four of us, we think that was the most ridiculous rapids we've ever been on. I mean, the boats are absolutely tiny. You go into here and it just sinks. Oh, 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 oh! oh Oh my god. And other than at the round the back, uh, my back is, is a bit wet. Lisa's bum soaking wet. All our feet are soaking wet from where it sort of nearly sank in here. And then you nearly hit your head on these posts. Watch. Look at it. Oh, not too bad then. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> crazy. You get um, you get you get wet before you've actually gone down the actual rapidy bits. But uh, yeah, Lisa's soaking. Stacey's feet are soaking, even though she's flip flops anyway. Yeah, me ass. Yeah, and her bum's wet. What did you think to that, Tom? That amazing rapids. Oh, Best God. rapids ever. Oh, yeah, one of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one of the wettest. Crazy. Yeah, although if you found the yeah, other one. Yeah, there's another rapids. Hopefully that one's better. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going on next. It's a huge park, and to say it's um, ten past one now, then we've 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 been on most of the major stuff. You've got another water ride just up here. There's a dark ride somewhere. We'll go and check out a dark ride. There's another junior coaster just here as well. I'm so sad we can't get on the uh, Hyperion. Over obviously we, we we did sort of know that it wasn't going to be open um and we haven't seen it testing yet either yeah right next up we've got to try the uh 7d pyramid cinema zero wait time looks quite nice here with the pills either side So zero wait time, I've no idea what will be in here. Obviously cameras can't come inside because it's in 7D. No, we have to wait. So I'll let you know what it's like we'll come out. 7D. Oh, one ride I will definitely not be going on. Stacy might ch check it out later, but according to that sign there, it says 40 minutes. There's not that many, there's probably about 40 people in the queue line to be honest. Yeah, um, right, we've just come out of the 7D cinema, which is the, in the pyramid there. I've got to say, that was the worst 7D, 4D, 5D, whatever it was, that I've ever done. It wasn't 7D at all. Um, yeah, basically the chairs inside were like out of a racing car, so it was like a, a bucket seat with a seat belt. And the actual film, or the actual video, was Pac-Man. It was odd, it really odd. I, mean, I, don't, I couldn't understand it. I mean, it was actually in English, but we just couldn't follow the storyline at all. Um, yeah, you got a bit of smoke and the usual stuff, but the seats were moving and they were, it wasn't even in time to the actual, what was on the screen. So it was odd. But I did speak to one Polish guy that come out and he said that it changes, the video changes. So we, you might get a different one next time we go, but it was so violent. I mean, oh, 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 it was mental. So yeah, might not do that one again. Here comes Speed, their uh, new water coaster for this year. Intamin water coaster. It's huge as well. Wow, wow crazy. Yeah, we've still got loads to do at this park. We might actually be able to do everything in one day. Um, park is open till eight, it's 20 to two now. We've got loads left to do, we've done loads. It's a nice park, it's very random, I must say that, it is quite random. But it's different, somewhere different. Right, coaster five of the day is Dragon Roller Coaster, which is a Vekoma family suspended roller coaster. Um, slightly different layout to the other ones we've done, which are Flight the Pterosaur at Poltons Park. 
and we're doing that one at uh, Flight Deck, I think it's called Flight Deck, at Legoland in Florida. So we've done a few of these, queue time's about 10 minutes for this. Again, massive long queues for these, look, there's huge, huge queue lines, but it's a lovely day. Nice bit of theming around here with these wooden houses. You've got the little stream, you've got the speed coaster up there. Great, looks good that. It took us about 10 minutes to get on here. The queues here are not huge at all. So we've pretty much all got on everything today. It's quite, uh, it's like a cage in here. And it does say, we saw a sign, it's got VR on it, but uh, again, can't see any VR on it. So I don't know what the crack is with VR. Right, here we go. Looks like a good one straight to a dragon's mouth down there. Here we go. Definitely the best one of them I've ever done, that was awesome. Wow, the uh, Dragon Coaster was really, really good. One of the, well it was, it was the best one of them I've ever done. Uh, we've only done a few. Hello, there you are on YouTube now. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I like your t-shirt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. yeah, yeah, high five, yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Nice. What's your YouTube channel like? subscribe? Coaster Crazy. Alright. Yeah, awesome t-shirt by the way. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah, that was amazing, was that. Um, yeah, definitely the best one of them we've ever done. It's same sort of coaster as uh, Freedom Flyer, Flight of the Pterosaur, that sort of thing. But it was amazing, it was so smooth, it had some really good forces to it. Uh, lap bars again, really good throughputs on it. It was awesome, some really good airtime bits too. I love that, that was great. Probably the second best coaster of the day, I think. I've just asked Tom, he said exactly the same thing. Second best ride of the day. That was awesome, was that? You can't even hear it, it's so smooth. It's brilliant. Right, next up, another dark ride. We're doing Monster Attack now. Uh, well, actually, it's the first dark ride, because the first thing we did was the... Um, 7D cinema, they got some entertainment on over there. Some singing and that. Look at all these cow pens here. So yeah, no idea what it is. It looks like some sort of shooting thing uh, with the uh, guns there. Monster attack. Oh, this is really weird. This is so random. It's basically a ghost train with like guns attached to it. Pew, 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 pew. You gotta do your own sound effects, there's nothing on it. Pew, pew. Transformers and it's really odd, giant alien thing. That's 
scary aliens. That actually is like an alien, yeah. <laughs> like HR gag is aliens. I mean, there's no scoreboard or nothing. Guns work really well, though. Pew, pew, pew. You can hear the sound effects of the guns, but it's it's on the side. It's not on the train. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Then that's it. It's like individual ghost trains, but they're all cubs up together, even the ones behind us are called. Weird. I didn't even see a... a not, where's the operator at? That's weird. And there's no score. That is the weirdest start ride I've ever been on. Oh, is it? Oh, it's on the board behind it. That's weird, that. Wait, no, you put the milk in right, it. so we've all just got some drinks. Okay. Uh, the girls have got cocktails each, uh, Sex on the Beach, and I think tequila a tea, sunrise. tequila sunrise. Nice. Tom's got a coffee. He's got a bit of milk. <laughs> He's getting some milk for his black coffee. I've just gone with a lemonade, really. I don't really drink, yeah. But uh, we're on the terrace here. Look at the views. Amazing. You've got the Intamin water coaster just here. It goes around. you got the booster. you got like the pendulum sort of style thing. It's called Space Gun. Uh, there's a show over there, there's a ra another Rapids at the back, it's great. Uh, there's the pyramid where the 7D cinema was. Hyperion's just back here. Uh, uh, we haven't seen it testing, there's people on the lift all there I can see. There's a few more coasters to do. But no, we're having a, we're having a really good day here. It's not been too busy, we've pretty much got on every ride so far, dead easy. And we've not really had to wait for much at all. Um, it's been good. Um, that uh, that dark ride was a bit. I wasn't I sure about it. that. Yeah, it was really odd. It's like a ghost train that they just added guns and effects to it. I mean, it was. I liked the fact that it's got aliens in it from the from the film. It was all right. Yeah. So yeah, it was all right. It's gonna shoot it. Yeah, shooty shooty. Pew pew pew. <laughs> but yeah, loads more rides to come. I've had a really good day so far. Right, I'm doing it for the credit. I'm doing it for the credit. Tom doesn't want to do it because he, he wants to make his next coaster speed, which would make it 200. But we're not fussed, though, if we do him an order or not. So I mean, Stacey will do it. It's a tiny little, literally a tiny little powered kids coaster. If we get on it, we'll get on it. It's a credit, it's a credit, isn't it? Circus coaster. It's a little funny little thing. Look at it. <laughs> Yay! Everyone say kids coaster. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's another FBF visa. Woo! So what I say as well, I don't even fit on it. Look, the lap bar's not even down. But you slide around the seat a bit. The crud. Whoa! You got a slide. You get some sliding on it. Oh, bash me knee. Oh. Wow! Look at that, guys. Intamin water coaster. There's only four. We looked in the database. There's only four of them in the world. Um, yeah, I got on the kids coaster. Uh, that was credit 269. So it's, yeah, it's all right to get the kids coasters in. 
there's, we're in the kids area around here there's a few little flat rides for kids there's the little monorail thing up there we're looking for speed coaster now yeah it's a really nice family park it really is it's very open though there's not much shading around oh god there's another one of those spinning coasters another SPF looks like a bigger layer layout than the other ones as well actually it's not it is yeah slightly bigger layout than the one that was at uh, Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach and Cannon Hill Park so there's a few of these around now yeah it's not just a figure of eight it's slightly bigger it's got a bigger layout to it so the other ones was basically set off there go around and around but it goes up here down there just a bit bit more to it so we're trying to find speed now i think we're going in the completely wrong direction oh no it isn't it's right it's this way so that's another coaster credit this one will be 270 there's another rapids around here there's loads of rides i hope you've enjoyed this vlog so far today uh we will be going like i said to oysterfic as well the uh the camps but there's no way i'll be filming that um so if you are watching this and thinking oh we haven't actually done anything of interest well we have we did the castle the other day that was the last vlog uh we did a bit of the sightseeing around the t uh, the city we we're here all we're here all week it's only our second day here um so we've got loads more stuff to see like i said we've got the legendia as well here's part of the new water park that just opened up some cranes and stuff building some new stuff over there. there's a new hotel being built as well look at it though beautiful here we go speed coaster right so here's the station tom's just pointed out to me they're playing pirates of the caribbean music in the queue line it's not it's not themed to pirates of the caribbean it's just that they're using that music for it um, the queue lines are absolutely massive. We've just come up this bridge here. And you can see how far round it goes, all the way over there, over there, another bridge there, and into here. Another thing I've noticed as well that's really good, the turnstiles actually have a number on them to say how many people can go through. That's a great idea. I just asked the guy as well about uh, how wet you get, because Lisa always gets soaked on these water rides. She's not a massive fan of water rides. Doesn't mind the rapids and things. He just said, no, nah, it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah, Intamin water ride. Like I said, only four of these in the world. Look at the height of it, it's massive. And the throughputs have been amazing. We were having that drink a second ago, watching it go up, it's just brilliant. Really good throughputs on all the rides here, in fact. We haven't queued for a massive amount for anything. And even if Hyperion was open today, a lot of the people would be over there on the new ride but I don't think it'd be anything over two well even over an hour I don't think the longest queue of the day is for the booster because obviously the throughputs on a booster is not great so I'll, I'll get you I'll see you when we get to the station hashtag unfinished rock work there's quite a bit of that around here actually I've noticed it's just filling it in bits areas where people could go through but there as well. Pirates of the Caribbean, everyone. Well, we did want the front, but the uh, two lads in there just ran in front of us. But never mind. We're sort of in the middle. The Tom and Stacey in the back. Oh, they must. They must have waited for the next boat then. Yeah, we're already in. Bags on ride as well. <laughs> There's no baggage hold for this one. Uh, just a, it's just a lap bar as well. You can just see there. Yeah, I really wanted the front then, but never mind. We're going all the way up there. No. Eh? It's alright. First ever walk into my water coaster.
It does smell, it smells like cornflakes, yeah. And to the lift, and then straight up there. Wow. Yeah, three putts are amazing at this park. Straight up. Look at the ch chain on the side there. Oh my god, there goes the other one. A bit like a mat coaster. Oh god, here we go. It's high up. Oh, there's a stunt show down there. There's another rapids, proper rapids. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it does go up here. Oh, we should have sat there. They're not too bad. <laughs> I've had worse. Was it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, really good ride that though. Really smooth. Nice little boat. Yeah, the water came up here. <laughs> Brilliant that. Just a nice little sprinkle, nothing too mad. Yeah, speed water coaster was amazing. Really, really good, really smooth. Actually, just to give you a bit of information, this should have actually opened up last year, but this is the new ride for this year. Uh, and by the sounds of it, coming out of the station, it sounds like they've got some uh, IMA score on it. It does actually sound like it's been ripped off another ride, but I can't just quite make it out. Sounds like I've heard it from Toverland. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but it was definitely Pirates of the Caribbean music at the beginning. I think Tom really liked that. You got soaked in the front, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really good. Yeah, so you got wet as well. Yeah, really good. Yeah, me and Lisa didn't really get much at all, really. Right, I think we're going over to do the rapids now since we're mildly moist already. But that was awesome, was that? Definitely something the uh, UK could do with something like that. Maybe Thought Park, I don't know. That's amazing. Really good. Right, jungle adventure, zero weight time for this again. Practically everything's walk on, if I'm honest. I mean, we didn't really wait that long for the water coaster. Well, here it comes again. It's amazing. Here's your rapids down here. The stunt show's going on over there. Right, here we go. I think by the looks of it, it's an Intamin Rapids. The boats look like Intamin, the station look like Intamin. And there's literally two staff operating the whole ride. Oh, got wet feet already. Oh. I'm gonna get it, Anna. Yeah. Oh. Not Anna Jessica. I've got a bit. Woo! Oh, oh. It's, bag oh. it's bags on rides as well. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's a soaker! Oh what was that? That was a proper KFC, that one! Hey! Hey! And you can film on this rapids! Uh, why would you go to Alton Towers, huh? What a load of rubbish! Oh, it's wow, look at speed. <laughs> 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 
This is a proper rapids. That other, that other rapids. I don't know what that was. I think that was a kids rapids. Yeah. It's tiny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How you realise it was a stadium? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm dry now. <laughs> She's dry already, she says. Nah. It will be on Thursday. Yeah, what's the temperature today? 19 degrees at the moment. About 27. Yeah. Water. Oh, it's oh, it's Whoa! Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh, what a oh. Oh. Tom! Tom! Oh, no. Tom. <laughs> 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 Missed! Survived! Good. It's a good layout, isn't it? Yeah. Nice and twisty. Yeah. We've still got um, a log flume oh. and some other rides to do, water rides. One near, uh, yeah, there's a um, couple of splash battles. Yeah. yeah. There's no much more left in this rapids, is there? Yeah. That nice little moist in though. Yeah, then we go. Off. Oh, oh I missed that. I say, not bad. Not bad at all. Put me a uh, helix back there. Oh yeah, they got these silly things here. If you're really tall, you, you watch. You got to watch your head on these, aren't you, Tom? Yeah, not bad. The good rapids. Yeah, definitely better than the other one. What's he doing, Stace? He's <laughs> going on the circus coaster. He's going on the circus coaster. He wanted the credit, bless him. Oh. Whee! <laughs> he, the he missed that before. It is good round the corners. I mean, it is literally just a tiny little powered coaster. Um, yeah, we've got another got another drink. Stace has got another alcoholic drink, another cocktail. Just watching this booster here, it's bonkers. Very much like, I think it was called Hydro that was at um, Pleasure Island uh, at Cleethorpe, the one that closed down last year. Uh, it's very similar to that. We'll probably, we'll, we'll probably do it on the next day, yeah. This is a 30 minute queue. Yeah, it is quite a big queue on it, yeah. If I get on it straight away, I'll be tired. Yeah. Um, yeah, massive queues here today, look at this, rammed. <laughs> We're going around to do a few more coaster credits. Um, it's still... Yeah, Jeep Safari, probably see about doing the stunt show at five o'clock. Like I said earlier, pads isn't closed till eight o'clock. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> no, energy drink. Um, pads isn't closed till eight o'clock, so we've got no, another four hours yet. So yeah, I've had a really good day. There's a few more coasters, there's another coaster there just in front of me. There's a little Jeeps ride, there's, there's loads of stuff. So we'll come back on Thursday, I'll probably do a day two vlog. Yay, another coaster credit. This one's called the Mars Roller Coaster. Look at the theming on it, it's out there. Like Lisa said, it's brilliant. It's fab. It looks great. Yeah, immersive. Woo! Oh, it's a slide. Ah! Wow! Whoa! Little, uh, another SPF visa. I've just looked into it, they're an Italian company. So there's quite a lot in these uh, European parks. Oh, station fly through. Woo! <laughs> Look at it, it's well cute. I like, I really like aliens and things like that. It's so random though. Bits of it have broken off here. 
where someone's hit it. Whoa! Slidey, slidey, slidey! Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. I know. <laughs> I'll show you the uh, <laughs> I'll show you the random knockoff Lego house in a second. Oh, that's it! It's one of the rollback things. Uh, just a two-lap special and that. Well, look, it looks great. All the weird aliens on it. Yeah, not bad that. I don't know. Right, if you're watching this and you've watched my uh, video from the T. Smith's Aylesbury vlog, no, I'm not on the loop of planes again. But we are in the little jeeps. <laughs> it's hilarious. Buttons. Random buttons. <laughs> if uh, Harry Ro uh, Harry Rodin's watching this, I've just got him a little p picture of the uh, panel for him. He's like, oh, can you take me some pictures of the panels? Well, yeah. Uh... <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Random Jeep ride. Now on the random tracks a ride. This park is so unusual. There's there's a mixture of like world class roll or potentially world class rides and, and loads of kids rides. Uh, this is, uh, I thought there would have been Zampella, but no, there are F SBF rides, a lot of these, uh, Italian company. The theming's amazing, you know, the planting and everything about it is really nice. They're great for the kids, a really good family park. I just thought we were walking past it, we might as well come on it. Another caterpillar, wacky worm, uh, a big apple, even though it's not a big apple uh, credit to get on. Yeah, random um, tractor ride. We're about to do the Fruity Loop coaster, coaster number nine of the day. And it's another. Caterpillar! Yay! Lost count how many of these I've done now. Um, someone did actually comment on a video the other day saying uh, I should stop calling them wacky worms because that's what they call them in America. Yeah, it's technically the name for them. Wacky worms, big apples, it's whatever you want to call them. I always call them caterpillars. But yeah, another caterpillar. I have really lost count how many of these I've done. But cost of credit number nine of the day. Here we go. Yeah, another coast with random theming, fruity loops. <laughs> another caterpillar. Tom and Stacey are behind me. There they are. Whee! It's quite a decent sort of layout actually. It's, it's, it's a bit bigger than a standard size wacky worm. bit longer like the runoff here you normally go straight around the corner but no it's a bit longer anyway you don't need to see the whole thing you know what a wacky worm looks like big apple whatever you want to call them Right, on the way over to the show, we thought we might as well get another credit. So the 10th credit of the day, there's one more after this, which is the uh, Junior Vacu Vacuma, Vacoma. <laughs> uh, this one's called Happy Loops, and it's a SBF Visa 
and it's a three loop is this one the model they're not standard ones it's just a note uh, just a figure of eight but this has got three loops on it so yeah uh, credit number 10 eh tom it's there yeah. for, are you having a good day though so far yeah really good it's amazing yeah it's nice and warm now it i'm is. surprised how quiet it actually is it is it's really quiet even with if hyperion was open yeah. i don't think it'd be mega busy yeah. no because so. no. everyone would be over there and all the right all the rides all the would be, be quiet, quiet. we haven't really queued for anything today have Longest we queue is dragon about dragon yeah the dragon and coast the show. yeah the show we'll go and do that after, straight after this starts at about five o'clock uh, we are actually leaving the park a bit early today, unfortunately. Uh, we want to go and find something nice to eat. And then we'll be back here on Thursday. Thursday, yeah, Thursday. yeah excellent. So stay tuned for a day two vlog from Energy Landia. See you with Stacey on this one. Nothing exciting, but uh, it's a credit, oh, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> told you. Tiny little kids coaster, they got some force to them. <laughs> oh, look at Hyperion. No. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Loads to do here. Really? really nice. It is. It's a great park. There's a couple of these uh, monorails as well as some slides there. You got the water park just here to my right. It's there. Oh, Hyperion looks amazing. We need to come back next year. Are you coming back in April? Yeah. Tom and Stacey coming back in yeah. April. Maybe one more. Bad, Happy loops. <laughs> I like the fact it's a, a bigger layout to the standard ones. Oh. I can't hear Tom. You alright, Tom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tom's not into spinning rides. See, something like this would have been better than Octonauts, I think. On Towers. Yeah. And then we go like No, one, just keep, you're still going. Yeah. Longest queue of the day. <laughs> Oh my god, it's still going. Right, I'll turn you off now. It's getting boring. Right, about four minutes until the extreme stunt show starts. This arena is amazing. It's great. Um, we've just lifted up this umbrella. You see at the back, they've got the, uh, the uh, parasols just here as well. Just had to lift this one up. Um, there's loads of seating. It doesn't look very busy. We've just got these um, crisps as well. Mm. Oh, very nice. Obviously you won't see much on the GoPro, so what I'll do is I'll use my phone, get a bit of footage zoomed in on my phone, uh, see in a few minutes when the show starts. And uh, we'll give you a bit of a, a review at the end. And we'll do uh, a couple more coasters, what I'll do formally over again before we leave, and the other coaster credit, and then that's it. But we've had a really good day here today. It's been awesome. And looking at expansion, there's loads of fields and stuff down here. I, I can't see any um, expansion for any more rides. And they've, have they seen us? Yeah, we're, we're here. I'll see you in a minute. This, uh, this stunt show is, um, yeah, it's very extreme. 
It's actually got the swear words in the uh, in the song as well. Tom noticed that. Yeah. It actually it's crazy. Never been to a theme park before and it's got swearing in the music. We had a brilliant show so far.
of cast members on this show. Uh, it lasted about uh, what well, about 20 minutes. I've got to say, even Lisa liked it as well. Um, that's probably the best theme park show that we've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It was. But on what? Yeah, there's a little boy on that uh, on the on the quad. There was so much. So much to see, you don't know where to look, it was brilliant. Even had swearing in the music on the rolling rolling. Really good. Really, really good. There was loads to see. I hope you enjoyed that one. Obviously you can film the show, you can pretty much do what you want at this park. This park is amazing. We've had a really good day here today. We've been able to film the rides. Yeah, it's great. Get yourselves out to Poland. Come and see something new. Best theme park show I've ever seen. I'm, I'm really into the cars and stuff like that anyway, so right on my street. That was awesome. Extreme energy landia. That didn't disappoint. See, this is what I'm calling about the uh, being a great show as well. You actually get interaction with the uh, with the, well, the actors or the stunt guys. They give you like this card, he's got one of them cards. Like Tom, they give you one of these cards, they've got all the guys, and they sign them, so put the signature, this young lad as well. He was the quad bike dude. Yeah, look at that, and he signs it. Brilliant, well good. And then he got all the cards and stuff as well. Awesome. What, you tell me what another show, the theme park show. Hey! YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, good lads, brilliant. Really, really good. You tell me another theme park show that's as good as this. That was awesome, that. Get yourselves to Energylandia. It's amazing. Right, so it's near enough coming to the end of our day. I mean, the park is open for another two and a half hours. Um, going on back on Formula again. One of the last rides of the day for us. And it's still... It's still on a zero minute queue. Amazing. We've had a truly an amazing day here today in Energylandia. It's a great park. There's some awesome rides. It's nicely themed around, you know, it's you know, I did say it was a bit random earlier. And it is, it's sort of a bit of bit of a mismatch really, but it it's it's nice. Some of the coasters they do have are some of the best that I've been on. That was brilliant, was that, the Dragon Coaster. Formula is amazing. Again, like I said earlier, a park like Drayton Manham back in the UK would really benefit from something like this. It's small, it's compact, it's fast, it's smooth. The throughputs are great. Brilliant. Oh, here it goes again, look at that. There's one just literally just come out of the station. Oh. It's amazing. Yeah, we've had an awesome day today. That show was fantastic. We've all said one of the best theme park shows that we've ever seen. And me and Lisa are not into shows at all, if I'm honest. Uh, but stuff like that is, is interesting. We like it. And if you notice, I've had my Icon t-shirt on all day today. Got to rock a bit of the UK. Especially with Icon, it's amazing. Yeah, here we go. Formula. Yeah, it's brilliant. short gotta say I've gotta say this right now this is the best for Coma coaster I've ever been on until we got until we go on the let coaster that was amazing so good very short and sweet
Yeah, I'm just gonna put that out there. I did say it on the POV on the last ride on here. We will be back on Thursday, by the way. That is the best for coma coaster I've ever been on up to now. Uh, we are going to Legendia as well. They've got uh, the Let Coaster, which is another home to another really good, uh, potentially um, for good for coma coaster there as well. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, no doubt without, about it. This is the best for coma coaster I've ever been on up to now it's amazing i love the launch i love the well, everything about it the trains the lap bars the the launch the inversions on it three inversions a couple of court screws it's great a couple of bits of air time it's fast it's smooth it's intense it's everything you want in a coaster landscape really nice you can walk underneath it it's brilliant really really good and if you're into your football We've even got a giant screen here for you as well to sit out, have a drink, and you watch the footy. I'm not into footy, but they've got it. <laughs> yeah, one more coaster credit to get, and then we're going. But that is amazing. I thought I'd point out while we're stood here and walking past it, you got the, I don't really know what it's called, Anaconda, I think it's called, uh, the Shoot the Shoot ride here. We'll probably do that on Thursday when we come back. It looks really good and it's practically walk on, but we want to get the final credit and go uh, and then go back to the hotel and get some, get changed, go out somewhere to eat. But that looks really good, does that. Double drop on it. Doesn't look like you get a massive soaking on it, but uh, it, yeah, <laughs> it looks all right. Here's some posters for Hyperion. I have seen the um, trains on Facebook, it's got the same lap bars as Taron and um, Red Force of Ferrari Land. So just a single little lap bar on it. Yeah, really good part. We've had a great day today. And it's helped with the weather as well. Going to be a lot warmer on Thursday next time we come. But yeah, one more coaster credit to get just down here, which is the Junior Vacoma. And then, uh, and then, and then we're going. Yeah, it's called Anaconda. But yeah, brilliant day. The last coaster of the day is Energus, which is the uh, family uh, uh, Vacoma. Some good theming around here. And we've also got the Toffee Fee log flume to do next time we come as well. It, it does remind me of Poland's Park a bit, this place you know it really does we like the wacky theme in and all the colorful bits yeah it's very nice so yeah last credit of the day yeah it's been a great day a real shame about um, Hyperion it's bloody massive I'd love to get on that today but we knew it wasn't going to happen next time we come next year it probably will happen so yeah Kitty coaster. Here we go, another family Vacoma. Final credit of the day. I'll just try. Huh? Oh no, look at the lift hill. I'm just saying to the guys, I can't remember another coaster I've been on with these um, sort of leg restraints. Oh, I know what it was. The dragon at um, Legoland. Oh, yeah. Woo yeah, dragon at Legoland are the same ones. Same layout as uh, Rhino Coaster at West Midland Safari Park and Roller Skater at Plopsland Japan. Yeah. Oh, have you? <laughs> Two lap special on this one. Oh, look at that. Did you see the train in the station? No. Yeah, we can't even get near it to get any footage. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, you can see the train. Woo! I love.
these new Vekomas that they've been releasing recently. They're really good. Whoa! It is smooth, yeah. Brilliant, that. Really good. One more time. Hyperion. Hyperion. Please open now. Not going to happen. That was good, that. Right, it's the end of our day. The park, unbelievably, is open for another two hours. It's six o'clock, it's open till eight o'clock. We've had an amazing day today. A very random theme park. I'll get you a bit more of a review. I can't speak. A bit more of a review. That's better. When I get outside, I just wanted to show you this here. Hyperion will be coming soon. I'd say about another month at least. Um, the guys have been on the lift hill all day you probably made that out if you're watching on a bigger screen but i can't see them on the gopro at all uh, the station looks amazing we could see the train from on the the last coaster we've just been on and it's more like a, a space theme it's oh i can't wait we definitely have to come back uh, to this park like next year we are coming back however on thursday this week uh, so it is a monday today we're back again on thursday um, yeah, we're doing outfits and that tomorrow. The salt pits as well, I think, tomorrow. Wednesday, Legendia, and then back here again on Thursday. Already got the tickets and everything for that. Uh, I'll get, just get the quick guys' reviews. I think Lisa's had a good day from what I've heard and what she's told me. What do you think of Energy Land, Dior? I've had the best birthday. It's been amazing. It has been That's a been birthday. Really it's been that good. I forgot it was your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been a good birthday for you. Oh, there's a bit of entertainment. There you go. Oh, she's blowing me a kiss. There you go. Oh. Right. What's been your best ride of the day? Um, probably Formula and then Speed after Formula that. and, and then, Speed. Is it the Dragon one? Yeah. Bird. Yeah. yeah. the three highlights. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Tom? Yeah, it's a beautiful park. It is, um, isn't it? It's only four year old, so it's one to watch. It is definitely one to watch. And uh, the show was amazing. The show was amazing. Yeah. Man. We'll definitely be back. Well, we're coming back on Thursday, but we'll be definitely yeah. be coming back for next year for Hyperion. I'll try and get you a bit of footage as I walk out here, just, just on from the roadside here. But we're going now. We're going back to the hotel. It's about, what, 20 minutes away, isn't it? From, you know, where we booked. If you watch the travel vlog that I posted, well, it's like, technically I posted it this morning, but by the time this is on, it'll be on in a couple of days or it's been on for a couple of days um, but the, yeah, it's been a great day a really amazing park to say it's only been open four years yeah, it, it's beautiful, yeah, we've not seen a bit of rubbish anyway it's amazing uh, yeah, yeah, this this soundtrack, Stace has actually downloaded it yeah. it is throughout the whole entire park uh, one thing I would probably niggle about is the theming is so random. Like Nothing matches formula. at all. They've got formula. Yeah, which is like obviously Formula yeah, One. Speed, which is themed to pirate. Pirate, and it's called Speed. You know, it's a speed coaster. Pirates of the Caribbean is the theme tune. Yeah. Which is like. No, it is very random. Probably the most random theme park I've ever well, been to. I like it. But yeah, we like it. We've had a great day. Um, the family uh, Vacoma. It's been amazing. The SLC, if I'm honest, wasn't bad. Probably the better one that I've done of those. We've had a brilliant day. This has probably got to be a really long vlog. So I apologise for anyone that's not into massively long vlogs, but I just want to show you as much footage as I can when, when we come to these parks. And uh, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. We can't get any closer than this road, unfortunately. I don't know where Lisa's gone. Um, yeah, <laughs> we can't get any closer to that, unfortunately. Um, I did get a bit of merch as well, I got a magnet, but look at that, it's, oh, it's got to be amazing. Intamin Hypercoaster, yeah, and on that note, I'll finish up. It's been amazing, we've had a great time, can't wait to come back again on Thursday do a few of the rides that we haven't done, do a few more re-rides. My highlight has definitely been Formula. I was, thought it was a great coaster. It was that really smooth, brilliant Vekoma coaster. First of its type that I've ever done and, and seeing this. So yeah, on that note, 
I'll see you later. Bye for now.